You are now listening to the smooth sensations and high vibrations of Alex, host of the best relationship channel on YouTube. Alex, drop them gems on us. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And I got a message, um, an email, I should say. The email's in the description if you guys want to book any consultations or ask me any questions. But I got an email, and this is a video that's very important to me. I want to take my time m making this video because it's from an 18-year-old. I love my young male subscribers. I love my young subscribers in general. But um, I love my young male subscribers because there's so much misinformation being given to young men through the male sphere and red pill. That when I get an opportunity to do some course correction with you guys, I love to do it. All right. Please do not have ADHD, young boys. I know y'all be on TikTok. All right. Everything got to be 30 seconds or left. Instant gratification. But if you really want to get better with women, you have to take your time. And you have to learn and you have to listen. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Instant gratification is one of the worst things you can do with women. And I'm going to talk about that after I talk about this. So first, this is a summary of the email because I forgot my work phone, so I can't read it for word for word. But basically what he says, he said, hey, Alex, you know, I'm an 18 year old version and I just have problems interacting with women. Every time I try to talk to women, they either ghost me or they leave me on red or they block me or something like that. He has two jobs, so shout out to you. That's a real elite man right there. You're working, you're grinding, you're getting your paper. He's in school to become a physical therapist, so shout out to you, all right? You got a career-oriented goal, and you're working two jobs while doing that. He's already been in the gym. He's lost 30 pounds. He's growing his hair out and been shaping himself up and stuff and working on his looks, but it doesn't seem to be working for him, and he's kind of embarrassed because all his friends can get girls, and even his younger cousin, you know, who's like 14, just got to high school. He's getting girls. So he's like, I kind of want to give up on dating. I need help. First of all, don't give up on dating. All right. We're men. So you're already working on being an elite man by having two jobs and going to school for physical therapy so you can get your career down. But part of being an elite man is not being a quitter. We're leaders. We're not quitters. We're problem solvers. All right. So we solve the problem. We don't quit. Now, with that being said, Let's get straight into it, all right? The older men, you can learn from this video too, of course. It's not just for younger men. So everybody tune in and turn up because I'm getting straight to the gym. First gym, your number one problem is you're coming with too much sexual energy. I already know without talking to you that you're coming with too much sexual energy because you felt the need to tell me you're an 18 year old virgin. Now I'm not saying that's a bad thing and I like the vulnerability of that, but the problem is subconsciously, because I always think deeper, Subconsciously, when I see a man feel the need to tell me he's a virgin, that generally means that his big goal is sex. So your big goal isn't really to have a girlfriend. Your big goal is to smash, right? Let me tell you something. Just like I say, relationships are one of the few things where it's better to be a jack of all trades versus being a master of one. And every other facet of life is usually better to be a master of one than a jack of all trades, right? But not in relationships. Relationships are also one of the very few things in life where it's better to not lead with your intention or basically speak your intention into existence. So what I mean by that is if a man goes out here and says, I want to smash, you're never going to get any ass. Now, if you go out here and you say, I'm a millionaire, right? You can speak that into existence. You should think that, right? If you say, I'm confident, things like that, that works. But when you go out with an energy like, I want to smash, it doesn't work because women are very good. Women have a good intuition because they follow it. Men have intuition too, but because we're trained to be non-emotional, we don't follow our intuition. We ignore it most of the time and we just go straight logic. Women don't ignore the intuition, right? And your intuition is a superpower. So what I mean by that is when you just want to smash, women can feel that and it's automatically a turn off. I don't give a damn who you are. I don't care how much money you got, how attractive you are, how nice your body is. If a woman gets a vibe from you that you just want to smash, you're not going to smash. All right, unless you're dealing with a literal whore and she has a price, you're not going to smash. Women don't like that. Women want to be smashed mentally. Then they want to be smashed physically. That's the way they are. Even if they view you as handsome and they're like, dang, I wonder what he would do to me. They still want to feel like you're building some type of a connection with them. Right? So the easiest way to learn how to build connections with women is to get the idea of smashing them out of your head. 
How do I get the idea of smashing them out of my head, Alex? Because I get it. We all got testosterone. I have testosterone, right? We're men. The easiest way to learn how to get the idea of smashing women out of your head is to put yourself in situations where you have to talk to women and it doesn't have anything to do with sex. The easiest way to do that is to go to places where women are at and just have conversations with them. Now, like I made a short a while ago where I talked about how dudes say all the time, you can't talk to women at the gym, but I talk to women at the gym all the time, right? So prime example. You go outside the United States, it's no, <laughs> what's funny? It's no problem participating in the workout with women. But meanwhile, United States, y'all ass going to jail. United States, we going to jail for working out with women. Are you sure? What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. I know ladies, y'all been asking me for some workout tips, so I got my homegirl Sarah here. And Sarah gonna show y'all how to get right. All right, we gonna start. Yeah. Hey man, if whoever out there, y'all come to Brazil, make sure you stop in this smart place. Yeah. Uh, it's a good place for you to socialize. It's not like America, you know, gyms, how the girls don't want you to fucking approach them. They fucking like security, you know what I'm saying? I got my homegirl right here. She gonna show you one of her workouts. Y'all don't gotta do that many. She a beast. <laughs> <laughs> and it's her fault if I die. But I'm about Man, y'all passport boys will say anything except I just don't got the riz like that and women just don't like me. Stop the cat. Now, one of the comments on that video was, oh, well, he notice he said these girls are his homegirls. He's not smashing. First of all, I have smashed one of them. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you guys which one, but that's irrelevant. I said in the video myself, these are my homegirls. My point was when dudes say, oh, girls don't talk to you at the gym, this is a lot. The reason women don't talk to most dudes at the gym is because they're in there looking sexy. They got their little short shorts on, their little booty cheeks hanging out, their little titties in their face, they sweating. You want to smash. They can feel that energy. So they don't want to talk to you because that automatically makes you seem like a pervert to them. If you have any type of female friends, right, they'll basically tell you guys, like dudes just want to smash. All dudes want to do is smash. They look at me like I'm a piece of meat. They don't like that. Even if you just go on a dating profile, you'll see women say, look, I like sex just like you guys like sex. And I told you guys before, women arguably like sex more than men like sex, right? But the problem is if they feel like you don't even care about them as a human being and you just basically want to use them to smash at that point, their sex doll is going to turn them off. Men are the only ones who can operate with I don't even like you because I've done it before. I don't even like you. Don't really care about nothing you got to say. I just want to smash you. Most women can't do that unless they're whores, right? So I'm saying that to say the first battle is not looking at attractive women and your first thought is I want to smash, right? So learn how to just have a conversation, how to just approach them and how to just talk. Let me change that. It's okay to look at them and think, okay, I want to smash, but you got to learn how to have the conversation, build the connection. The easiest way to do that, don't start with the gym. Because again, the gym, women are in there, they looking sexy. They got their body parts hanging out. They sweating. It's going to be very hard for you to not want to smash the women you see at the gym. The easiest way for you to learn this skill is to go somewhere like a library. All right. You go to the library. You see an attractive woman at the library. Go up to her and just talk to her. Right. Let's say you see her looking at rom-coms. She's in the rom-com section of the library. Go up to her, you see a book in her hand, say, hey, you know, how is that book? Do you like that book? She's going to say, yeah, you know, I like that book. What's your favorite parts of the book? What's the book about? Just start a conversation. So she's going to tell you, oh, it's about this girl named Emmy. And she has a hard dating life. And, you know, she just does a bunch of silly and goofy stuff and gets herself in weird situations. And you go, oh, OK, cool. Like, what's your favorite character? Is it Emmy or is it another girl? And she'll say, you know, maybe my favorite character is Zach and he's like this playboy, but he's kind of funny, whatever the case may be. And once you're done with the conversation, you just say, OK, thanks for the information. I'm going to check that book out and just walk away. Don't try to ask her for a number. Don't even try to be a friend. Just walk away. And I want you to do that several times. Right. So if you're in college, go to your bookstore and do this. And the reason I say a bookstore is because when women go to a bookstore, they generally go in there looking regular. Right now, if she's a baddie. She's a baddie. It doesn't really matter. But they're not going to usually have body parts hanging all over the place and stuff like that. Like, they're just looking regular. So it's a little bit easier to control yourself. And girls who read generally have good temperaments. And they're usually pretty easy to talk to, right? So do that a few times. Go to the library. Spark up conversations. Go, to, go and just give a woman a compliment. 
you don't even necessarily have to spark up a conversation. Just give her a compliment. Like, go to the library. You see a woman, she got a nice hairdo. Say something about her hair. Hey, I like your hair. I think you got really nice hair. Oh, thank you so much. And then just walk away. Hey, I noticed your nails. That's a really nice nail pattern. I just want to say it looks really good on you. Oh, thank you so much. And just walk away. Learn how to say things to make them smile. This is how you become charming. Because you learn what compliments make women smile and what compliments make women laugh versus what compliments are creepy. This is why I said don't say anything about like her physical features. You can say stuff about her hair, her nails, things like that. But you don't want to come up and you know, you got a fat butt or you got big breasts or anything like that. You can even tell her she has nice skin. Like a lot of times I'll see darker skinned women and I'll tell them like, hey man, you got really nice skin. Like your skin is beautiful. I just wanted to tell you that. They love that, right? Or if you see like a pale or white woman, hey, your skin is beautiful and stuff. They love that. Because generally white women who are pale and darker skinned women don't really get too many compliments on their skin. They kind of have like a um, insecurity about it. So when you come and compliment it, they're going to smile 95% of the time. 95% of the time. But just learn how to do that. And the reason you want to learn how to do that is so that you become charming. You're getting comfortable with the idea of talking to women with no expectations of sex. No expectations of even bagging them. And the reason that's important is because when you go up to, when you only approach and talk to women who you're attracted to, who you want to get into a relationship with or smash, every time they don't reciprocate that energy, it lowers your self-esteem. And so as a result, again, no matter how good you are with women, when you're cold approaching, you're going to strike out. When you're just going in the inboxes, you're going to strike out more than you're going to hit, right? So if you're trying to, talk to a woman or smash a woman every time you talk to her what ends up happening to you mentally is after five women tell you no or five women ghost you or five women block you or five women don't respond you want to give up on dating you want to give up on women you want to give up on relationships now you red pill rage and all these women are whores and all this stuff but when you just talk and you have no expectation of sex no expectation of a relationship you're literally just talking to them you're literally just complimenting them you learn how to look at them as people the first step to smashing women, guys, and this is stuff no one else is going to tell you, but it's real talk, is learning how to just look at them as people and not sex dolls, no matter how attractive they are, right? So like I said, you start with the library, then you go to the final boss. The final boss is the gym and the club, because when women go to the gym and the club, that's when they're trying to look good. They have their body parts hanging out. You're going to do the exact same thing with women at the gym and women at bars or women at clubs and places where they're made up and they're goal is to attract you but you're still going to do the same thing and you're going to do that until the point where you feel confident talking to women right because now you've gotten so many responses now you've had so many conversations you've got so many thank yous and smiles and you know you've given a woman a little compliment and she smiles at you you'll be surprised how easy it is to get a beautiful woman to smile at you when you give her a non-sexual compliment right and it's just like you know like i said I like your hair i like your nails once you've mastered that that's going to make talking to women way easier because now when you actually like a woman, you learn how to strike up a conversation that's non-sexual or you then ask for the number or you then ask for the date. And if she denies you, you don't take it as a personal attack because you've already learned how to talk to women without having the expectation. So now if you do put out there, hey, can I get your number to take you out sometimes? And she says, no, you can just more easily move on. It doesn't bother you as much. But again, when you always have an expectation every time you talk to women, every single time you talk to women, you're going to get hurt and you're going to lower your self-esteem when they don't reciprocate. All right. So that's number one. Learn how to talk to women without any expectations of sex. All right. Now, number two, another mistake a lot of men make is where you're trying to talk to women at. Stop going to clubs and bars trying to talk to women. If the woman gives you a choosing signal at the club or bar, right? Like she either starts a conversation with you or she's staring at you when you catch her looking at you and stuff like that, then that's fine. But otherwise, in scenarios like that, women go to clubs and bars and stuff with the intention of curving men. <laughs> like that's their intention. Don't try to get at women in situations like that. Try to find them in just normal circumstances, normal social circumstances, all right? Where y'all talk to women is a huge problem. Y'all don't talk to women in the right places, all right? So what's a good place to talk to women, Alex? Well, again, the bookstore is a great place to meet women, all right? 
It's a great place to meet women when they're just looking at books and they're just chilling. Social events are great places to meet women. What do I mean by social events? If there's a carnival in your neighborhood, go to the carnival. Start talking to women at the carnival. All right? See if you can win them a teddy bear or something. A festival or something like that going on. Go to the festival and stuff. Start talking to women there. If there's like a run club or a marathon club in your city, go to the run club. Go to the marathon club. Talk to women there. All right. If you, there's like galas or balls, talk to women at galas and balls, things like that, because this is going to do multiple things for you. Right. When women go to those types of events, they're not necessarily expecting guys to holler at them. So their their guard is down. So they're not in curve dudes mode. They're just in regular be social mode. Right. Brunch is another good one. Men sleep on brunches. Not only are there a lot of women at brunches, but women go to brunches to be social. Again, you want to go to places where it's kind of designed for you to just kind of hang out and talk to people. But when you also, even deeper than that, like I said, when you go to these places, women are expecting to run into men who have the expectations of sex at these particular places, right? So what ends up happening is if you just at a festival, you just at a carnival, right? You know, or like say there's parks. There's parks in every city where they might have little local bands go and play rock music or play jazz or, you know, um, maybe even sing or rap or something, whatever they're doing. Go to stuff like that. Start talking to women there. Start meeting women in places like that. All right. Another major key. Always try to talk to women when they're by themselves. All right. Try to catch them when they're alone, because what happens is if you try to talk to women and there's a group of women, you got to impress every single woman in the group. So say you go up to a woman, you talk to a woman. She likes the way you present yourself. She likes the way you look, right? Two of her friends do, but two of her friends don't. You're probably not going to get a response from her because two of her friends did, right? Now you got to impress the whole group because all it takes is two detractors and now you're in trouble. All it takes is one detractor and now you're in trouble. So try to wait until she's by herself and come up and make your pitch. But guys, I'm telling you, you guys try to talk to women in the wrong environments. You really do. You try to talk to women in the wrong environments, right? Like, if you do want to talk to a woman in like a um, like a bar or club environment, do it at a restaurant. Preferably, like, if you catch a woman at a bar or something like that and she just happens to be by herself, that's a good place to string up a conversation. But like I said, not the clubs or bars. Women go to clubs and bars to be teases and find dudes in sections with money and see how much they can get out of them. And they go there with the expectation of curving people, right? When women are at carnivals, when women are at festivals, when women are at like balls and galas and things like that, when they're at the bookstore and stuff, they generally go to these places to be social and they go with their guards down. And also there's higher quality women at these places, guys. Higher quality women right? The gym is another place where you really don't want to, like I said, once you learn how to build connections, yeah, you can build a connection with a woman at the gym and then put your pitch in, but you don't want to walk up to a woman at the gym. I don't give a damn how attractive she is, especially if she's not giving you a choosing signal and just try to be like, oh, you know, I seen you and I want to know, you know, maybe we can go out sometimes. You don't want to do that because again, the gym is just as bad as the club or the bar when it comes to women having their antennas up. They're going to curve you nine out of 10 times right? So stick to the areas that I've told you and make your pitch, right? And when you make your pitch, try to make your pitch quick, all right? Very quick 30 second pitch. When you go up to women, and I've made a video about this before, but I just want to reiterate it here. And you do have interest in talking to her. Try to keep the actual pitch, right? 30 seconds or less. So what I mean by 30 seconds or less is you come up to the woman, you say, hey, excuse me, Always say, hey, excuse me, because most dudes are saying, hey, baby, or yo, shorty, or they trying to say some smooth shit. You ain't got to do all that. Just literally go up to her and say, excuse me, miss. Can I borrow you for like 10 seconds or can I talk to you for like five seconds? And she do them nine times out of 10 be like, yeah, you know, okay. Just off the strength of the fact that you said, excuse me and miss. Then at that point, what you do before or after you shake her hand, do not break the contact. Don't break the hand contact and make direct eye contact. The reason you want to make direct eye contact with women is because direct eye contact tells you multiple things when you're talking to women, all right? Now, if you're making direct eye contact with a woman and she's just looking at you straight in your face with like no type of reaction, right? 
it may or may not work out for you. It's probably not going to work out for you. But at this point, still make your pitch anyway. But if you're making eye contact with her and she's like smiling or she's turning red or she kind of wants to look away, but she still has a smile on her face, you're good. That means she likes you, but she's the shy type. Or if you make eye contact with her and she makes eye contact with you and kind of cuts her eyes at you or something like that, like something like this. Fellas, one of the biggest ways women flirt is through eye contact. So if she looks at you like this. Or she looks at you like this. Or maybe she looks at you like this. Nine times out of ten, that's a sign that she wants you to go ahead, make your approach, and talk to her. If all else fails and you can't recognize that eye contact, just remember, once she grins, your end game begin. I repeat, once she grins, your end game begin. And here's the last gem. Eye contact works for us, too. Lock eyes with her. When she look at you, look back. Maybe hit it with a little LL Cool J lip lick. <laughs> that depends on you. You don't have to do that. But the point is, women flirt through eye contact. If she's looking at you and she doesn't break eye contact or she looks at you and then turn to the side, giggles kind of like that last video, she's grinning, your in game, begin, go talk to her. Sneaky hack number 53 for flirting, the triangle gaze. Facing your date, look at one of their eyes, glance down at their mouth, look back up to the other eye and smile subtly. This will fluster and magnetize them. Right. But it also means, again, that she does like you and she does want to have a cop, some type of a relationship with you. But either way, keep the hand contact, but you're going to turn from a handshake into holding her hand kind of like this. And it's just going to say, hey, listen, I don't want to take up too much of your time. All right. But, you know, I was in here. I was checking out some books. I seen you across the hall. You never know when you will see a pretty lady again. So if it's OK with you. I like to get your number and you know, I like to take you out sometime. First dates, fun, focus on fun. I like, I like to take you out to go ax throwing. I like to take you out to go bowling. I like to take you to Dave and Buster's, you know? I like to take you to get a coffee and maybe we could discuss more books, something like that. But you know, I like to take you out sometime, get to know you better, my treat. Never ask her if she has a boyfriend. That's not your concern. If a woman has a boyfriend, let her tell you they have a boyfriend. I absolutely hate when men say, Do you, if you don't have a boyfriend, that's a lack of confidence. To a woman, that says lack of confidence. All right? Don't ask her nothing about her boyfriend. If she has a boyfriend, she will tell you. Or she might not because she might like you more than him or she might be planning on leaving. It doesn't matter. That's not your problem. You just make your pitch. Always attach a date. Guys, never just go up to a woman and ask for a number unless she's giving you a choosing signal. Right. If she's giving you a choosing signal, like she's looking at you, then you can go straight up to her and ask her for a number. Right. But in a case where you find her attractive and you don't have a choosing signal, you don't want to ever just ask a woman for a number. You always want to attach an action to it. Again, going back to what I said earlier in the video, multiple men ask women for their numbers all the time. So what's going to make you stand out? One. A personal connection with her right but two putting action behind your words most men just ask a woman for her number with no action behind it when you say hey i would like to take you out to get a coffee i would like to take you out to go bowling i, I like to take you out to go axe throwing i like to take you out to go play pool i like to take you out to go wherever there's action behind that so when a woman's in her house and she's bored watching netflix right and you text her she remembers Oh, okay, this is the guy who wanted to go do whatever it is you want to go do. So she's bored. So nine times out of ten, she sees you, she sees action. She goes, oh, okay, I'll go on a date with this guy. He seems nice and I ain't got nothing else to do. But when you don't put action behind it and you're just like, oh, can I get your number? You pop up, she's probably going to ghost you. You pop up, she's probably not going to respond. If you attach a date to it, I'm telling you right now, she's going to respond the vast majority of the time. Not only do you want to attach a date to it, you also want to generally ask her when she's going to be free, right? So, hey, you know, when are you usually free? Oh, I'm usually free on this time or whatever the case may be. But either way, you just say, you know, I like to get your number and, you know, I like to take you up sometimes, get to know you a little bit better. That's all you got to do. It doesn't have to be as complex. Like I said, guys, 30 seconds or left. Hey, I was looking for some books. I seen you over there. You never know when you're going to see an attractive woman again. So if it's okay with you, I'd like to take you out to whatever and get to know you a little bit better, my treat. 
she's gonna say yes or she's gonna say no all right most of the time she's gonna say yes if she says no that's fine do not flip out just be like okay you know hey enjoy the rest of your day and you move on and you go to the next chick it's no big deal all right but most of the time she's gonna say yeah so I'm like, yeah, okay, you know, I'll do that with you. At that point, you get her phone number, right? Once you get her phone number, you follow back up on whichever day she told you that she was free. On um, whichever day she said she was free. So say you say, um, what days are you usually free? And she says, oh, I'm usually free. Uh, I'm off on weekends. Hopefully she doesn't say weekends because weekends, they generally going to pick their top choice. Hopefully she says a day like Wednesday or something, because even if you're not her top choice, most women on Wednesday, you know, Wednesday evening, if you want to pick them up and show them a good time, they're going to go. Right. So, oh, you're free on a Wednesday evening. Yeah, I'm free on Wednesday evening for a few. OK, I'll come pick you up. I'll take you out on Wednesday evening. Simple as that. Don't try to do too much. All right. Just remember the rules. Just the same way I told you to go up to the woman when and talk, just give her a compliment or talk to her about her books or whatever the case may be with no expectations, then upgrade that to the gym or upgrade that to clubs and stuff. You're going to do the same thing here. You're going to have no expectation. You're just having a conversation. No sexual energy behind it. Just a conversation. Hey, I'd like to take you out sometimes if you're cool with that. I'm telling you right now, your success rate is going to go through the roof. Just off that. Just off of that. All right, so start small, start there. Now, when she actually gives you the date, you can watch the video I did about how to turn up sexual attention on the first date. Once you're on the date, it's okay to turn up the sexual attention, guys. But before you get on the date, you just wanna make it seem like you're genuinely interested in building the connection. You don't really want there to be very much sexual attention there. All right, all right? So again, in a recap, learn how to talk to women in general and give compliments to women without expecting sex or any numbers or anything in return all right after you've done that you then want to learn how to where to approach women so stop approaching women at bars and clubs or parties or anything like that you drunk and hot girls you want to stay away from them anyway start approaching women at festivals carnivals all right, um, brunch is okay, because like I said, brunch is a little bit more of a social setting. Balls and galas, bookstores. These are the type of places you want to approach women. Not only because they're guards down, but also because these are generally higher quality women you find in places like this. All right, and then three, make your pitch in 30 seconds or less and make sure you attach an activity to your pitch. This is going to make you stand out. This is going to make her remember you. When she's bored at the house and when you text, she's thinking this guy offered me a date. So I'm more inclined and I'm more inclined to reply back to a dude who's offering me a date versus a dude who's probably just trying to come through or versus a dude who got my number, didn't even offer me a date. So I had no real reason to even remember his name. We offer her a date. She's more likely to remember you and she's more likely to respond because she now views you as a good time. Start with those three steps and it's going to help you a lot in terms of being able to talk to women. Now, again, I have a video on my channel already. Look it up. And it's called How to Turn Up the Sexual Tension on First Dates. In that video, we'll talk about how to get you laid. But right now, we just want to get you comfortable talking to women and actually setting up the date. We just want to get you on a date at this point. Once you've got to the point where you're going to be on the date, then we can talk about how you turn up the sexual tension without coming off as a creep, all right? Either way, that's my thoughts on that, y'all. I am Alex, and I am out. Peace.